And we're back with the charming trickster himself, Darshwood. Now, okay, you blew my mind earlier, and I gotta have a little bit more. I'm ready for another round of some magic. Okay. Cool. So I'm happy to show you this this neat little uh, relic, I guess you could call it. It's something I found in my attic. I was cleaning out the house this, this past week. And this is something I made for an eighth grade science fair project. At the time, we were studying um, electronics and lighting. Um, and I took it a step further, combined some magic. So this is actually uh, a representational piece of what we call spectral illuminomancy, which is the magic of uh, colored light bulbs. Doesn't make any sense, but it will in a moment. So I have all these switches here that coincide with the light bulbs. The battery source uh, provides the energy and the current runs all the way through the switches and then connects to the, to the uh, coinciding light bulb. So in other words, if we turn on the yellow light switch, it turns on the yellow bulb. When we turn on the blue light switch, it turns on the blue bulb. Same for the red, same for the green. And it doesn't matter which uh, uh, which order we put them in, it's always gonna turn on the one that coincides, right? But what's interesting about this is that this is uh, slightly enchanted. What I mean by that is if we switch up the light bulbs, it'll still do what it's supposed to do. Uh, you tell me, Joanne. Um, where, which one do you want me to put down first? Uh, try a different one besides yellow, because that's the one that's in the first switch. We have blue, red, green. Which would you prefer? Green, please. Green. Green goes first. All right. Um, how about uh, the next one? We got blue or yellow or red. The switch blue. is blue, so it's more interesting if oh, we do it. Red. You want to go with blue? Red it is. Okay. You want to commit to that one? Yeah. <laughs> and then we have uh, blue and yellow. Next one, which one would you like, blue or yellow? Yellow. Okay, cool. And then the last one be blue. So if this was regular basic science, this switch would turn on that bulb, that switch would turn on that bulb, and that switch would turn on that bulb, etc. Um, but that's not the way uh, spectral illuminancy works. The way spectral illuminancy works is this colored switch turns on the correct light bulb. Green. Watch. And it turns Ooh. on the green light bulb. All right. The red one is turned on by the red switch. And you could have picked any order for these. Uh, the yellow switch turns on the yellow light bulb. The blue switch turns on the blue light bulb. And again, you got to choose which, which bulb we put in there. But what's really cool about this is that they're, they match simply by the color of the switches. So if we arrange the switches and just took these little caps off, the same thing would happen. So for the first one, the first switch is green. What, what color would you like to put there instead? Red, yellow, or blue? Yellow. Well, yellow, okay, great. And then the next one is a red bulb, but we can put any color you want. Do you want to do red or do you want to do blue or green? Green. Green it is. And whoop, how about the third one? Blue or red for that one? Blue. Blue, all right. And then the last one would be red. So this is what's really cool, is regardless of the fact that you got to choose which color uh, switch goes where, they still work the same way. The green switch still turns on the green bulb. The red bulb is still turned on by the red switch. The yellow bulb is still turned on by the yellow, and the blue is still turned on by the blue. That's crazy, though, because, yeah, you didn't change the wiring or anything. Exactly, yeah. It's an enchanted so did you win magical... The... Did you win the uh, science fair? You know, <laughs> they say that I cheated. And I couldn't prove otherwise, because you can't prove magic. That's the problem here. Um, the real question, though, is why I haven't patented this. And the answer to that, honestly, is just that I don't like to do paperwork. So here we are. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's really cool. And you were in eighth grade when you did this? It's impressive. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Where, if people want to get in contact with you, where is the best place to go? Okay, so um, you can go to our website, magicdinnerbourbon.com. Uh, we host regular dinner shows. We are excited to get our next one going. Um, you know, sometime later this year, we're really hoping for that. Maybe November. Um, we'll see. Uh, then there's also the JMB Magic Shop and Theater. That's where I'm actually at right now. I'm streaming from the JMB Magic Shop and Theater in New Albany. Um, you can go to newalbanymagic.com and get some information about the shop and theater there. Um, the shop is still operating online. So if you guys are interested in learning about magic, you can shop online at the website there, or just look me up personally, darshwood.com. And I'm also on all the social media platforms, so feel free to follow, share, and share alike. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, and take care, Darshwood. Absolutely. My pleasure. Same to you.